Darrow Yannett diagrams. These are simple graphs which helps us to visualize and to understand the changes in the osmolarity and the volume of the body fluid compartments. The y-axis is osmolarity and the x-axis is the volume. Both the compartments are shown here, intracellular and extracellular. Both have the same osmolarity, approximately 300 milliosmoles. And the intracellular volume is slightly larger than the extracellular compartment. The barrier between these two compartments is the cell membrane, which only selectively allows the solute, but freely allows the movement of water molecules. Though water can freely move, there can be a net movement of water only if there is an osmolarity difference between these two compartments. In this video, we are going to discuss what is the effect of adding different concentration of saline solution in the extracellular compartment. This is 0.9 saline solution. This is extensively used in the hospitals. This is referred as physiological saline or normal saline because the osmolarity closely resembles the osmolarity of the body fluids. 0.9 percentage refers to 0.9 grams of sodium chloride in 100 ml of water or 9 grams of sodium chloride in 1 liter of water. If we want to convert this into moles, we have to divide it by the molecular weight. 9 divided by 58 gives 0.154 moles or 154 millimoles. Since we are discussing about osmolarity, let us convert this into milliosmoles. For that, we have to multiply it by the number of particles the sodium chloride will produce in a solution, that is 2. So, 154 into 2 gives us 308 milliosmoles. That is the osmolarity of a 0.9 percentage solution. Let us see what happens if we add this in the extracellular fluid compartment. If we add few liters of 0.9 saline in the extracellular fluid, the volume of the ECF is going to expand because we are adding fluids. But the osmolarity is not going to change because we are adding same osmolarity solution in the compartment. So the volume expands, the osmolarity remains the same. And since there is no osmolarity difference between the two compartments, water is not going to move between the compartments and the solute is impermeable. So the intracellular compartment is untouched, it remains the same. Such solutions are called as isotonic solution, a solution which does not alter the shape of the cell or the volume of the cell is called as an isotonic solution. Let us see what happens if we add a 0.45 percentage saline solution. This is called as half normal saline solution. When we add such a low osmolar solution into the extracellular fluid, the volume is going to expand because we are adding fluids, but we are adding very less number of solutes or osmolites into the compartment. So the osmolarity of the extracellular fluid is going to decrease. The volume expands, the osmolarity is decreased. Now there is a difference in the osmolarity between two compartments. So the water is going to move from the dilute solution side to the concentrated solution side. So the extracellular fluid is going to enter into the intracellular fluid and it is going to expand the volume of the ICF. Since only water is moving inside, the concentration of ICS is going to decrease till it meets the extracellular fluid osmolarity. So both the compartments expand and the osmolarity come down. Such solutions are called as hypotonic solutions. The solutions which increases the cell volume when the, we put the cell inside such solution, we call it as hypotonic solution. Let us see what happens if we add 3 percentage saline solution into the extracellular fluid. The total osmolarity is more than 1000 milliosmoles per liter. If we add such solution, the volume is going to expand and also the osmolarity is going to increase. The osmolarity increases, the volume expands. Now there is a difference in the osmolarity. So the water is going to move from the dilute solution to the concentrated solution side. So the water moves from the intracellular to the extracellular side, the intracellular volume shrinks. Since only water is moving out, the concentration of the intracellular fluid is going to increase till it matches the extracellular fluid. Such solutions are called as hypertonic solution. That is a solution which shrinks the cell and decreases its volume is called as a hypertonic solution. In the next video, we will discuss some clinical conditions where there is a change in the osmolarity and the volume of the body fluid compartments with the help of diagrams. Thanks for watching.